Yo, what's poggin' people? Welcome back to another video. So today is going to be a little bit different than my normal content. I thought I'd do a follow-up or a V2 on my How to God Bridge uh, video. It's been getting a lot of traction and I realized that I made a few mistakes in it and I want to make up for those. So the main thing that uh, I, I noticed that I did wrong was I didn't even really talk about short dragging. Uh, and that's basically where you where you do little short drags instead of long drags to to bridge, and that's how I did it in my video. But I didn't I didn't explain that that's really the only way to do god bridging. Uh, you have to do shorter drags because you the the amount of time in between when you have to place blocks is a lot is a lot uh, shorter. So what I did is I'm making it a lot easier for you guys. I have a sound template in the description. Basically what this does is it's a guide for you to follow along to click with. So I set up a note block sound in the exact uh, arrangement and order and timing that you need to click your mouse. So you should follow it as a guideline and basically uh, the second that you unshift you should start clicking that way. Um, so basically there's going to be a sound, there's going to be a, a mp3 file in the description and what it's going to be like is just like seven seconds of the timing with note blocks playing. I'll put an example right now. So basically what you want to do is follow along with that. Just You don't even have to be in Minecraft just to get used to the timing and this will make it a lot easier. Just start clicking your left button with that timing. So click your left mouse button every time you hear a note block. Uh, my recommendation is just to like listen and let your brain get used to it. Let, get used to the rhythm and then just start trying to click along with that rhythm. And once you have that down pretty good, you can start trying to, to God bridge. Um, you want to be facing negative 135 or you need to be like, okay, so you see the facing thing right here. You need to be facing 135.75. Uh, and it might be negative or positive depending on where it is, and it changes. So right here, it would be 45 this time. Right here, another 45, 135, and then 135. So that's how it works. Uh, you can do it this way as well. It doesn't matter. It's just as long as you have your cursor pointing in that direction. All right. So once you have that down, basically what you want to do is take, take the timing that you've learned, carry that over, and unshift. The second you unshift, you want to start clicking at that timing. And obviously, I, I'm still not the best at it because I haven't been practicing lately. But earlier, I was getting like five or six extensions of these when I was practicing it. Um, what I should talk about now is the method that you use for clicking uh, because that matters a lot. I use double clicking. It's not as consistent. I am getting a drag clicking mouse soon. So once I get drag clicking, I'll drag click with that timing. So what you want to do if you drag click, you want to drag click with the timing in mind. So get used to drag clicking in that exact timing. Uh, another thing you can do is learn how to triple click. If you have a model O, that's possible and that'll make it a lot easier. You don't have to learn how to drag click. All you have to do is find the specific place on the mouse where you get triple clicks on and just Memorize that spot and use it when you're starting to click. Another thing is that the timing might not work for you. It just depends. Um, it's just a good guideline to go off of because that's the timing that you're gonna you're gonna uh, need really. As long as your your cursor placement is in the right spot, that's where you're, what your what the timing is gonna be for that. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want me to cover how to jump in later videos, I can. Um, but it requires just more CPS. So basically you want to go seven or eight blocks, jump, and then you're going to want to dra la long drag click. Uh, or you can just triple click. So yeah. Uh, another thing about that is the timing is a little bit different. You're going to want to pause once you jump and then you want to start clicking again. Just for a little bit. Um, I just recommend getting the base like six or seven blocks down. Once you can do that consistently, then you can start thinking about jumping. The main thing is just getting the timing down and seeing how far that can take you, you know? So yeah, um, I carried that on quite long enough, I feel like. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.